Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Thursday the 10th of February 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Catherine Veltz Stein. So my wonderful friends, we will start today's reading with an inspirational message from Secret Garden. Okay, here we go. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, and your inspirational message for today is strength. Don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. Don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. Okay, doing a bit of weeding today, friends. <laughs> okay, not allowing those weeds to take root. So let's see what fabulous message Spirit has for us for today. And here we go. What is the message from Spirit? For my wonderful friends, for Thursday the 10th of February 2022, thank you. What do my wonderful friends need to know? From the Mystical Moments Tarot. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. For Thursday, the 10th of February, 2022. Well, there we go. And your cards are... Major Arcana, number 18, the moon. Followed by the Nine of Cups in the reverse... And finishing with the Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay. Your first card, Major Arcana, number 18, the Moon. Major Arcana, speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. And uh, one and eight, uh, adding up to number nine, the number of completion, um, Dreams coming true, reaching an ideal, and also the number of leadership. I'm not surprised that the moon energy has turned up, but I love the fact that it's come underneath this strength. And I'm really seeing the tentacles here um, representing your weeds and thistles. Um, okay. <clears throat> the energy of the moon is one of, um, well, full moons, um, it, it's moonlight. So um, it's a light that we do get to see in the dark. Something is being shone. A light is being shone on something that has been hidden in the dark. Um, underworld is a word I'm being given. So something that has been really, truly, well and truly <laughs> buried um, in the underworld. The moon talks about secrecy, so I'm feeling that this is um, things that are hidden, kept secret. Um, but with this light being shone, um, I feel that there is um, reveals, revelations, uh, the word I am being given. Um, lots of revelations, things coming up from the underworld, um, secrets um, being really really bought up um and you okay 
you really did not know um, these secrets. You really did not know that all of this was going on uh, in the underworld. Uh, here in the illustration, we see the uh, young lady completely oblivious to these tentacles here behind her. She is totally immersed in the energy of the uh, full moon, in the energy of Luna, the feminine energy. The wolf sitting next to her here, representing her connection with spirit, with the divine. And it's almost as if you're... Um, <laughs> It's almost a feel as if ignorant is bliss, but I do feel that um, you're going to need some inner courage and inner strength um, as weeds and thistles, um, I really feel, are being brought to the surface. Um, okay. The moon energy is also related to Pisces. Um, Pisces, the dreamers, so really pay attention to your dreams. Some of you may be having real, um, either vivid or um, wild, wacky way out, way out their dreams. Um, I'm not sure if Neptune is in Pisces at the moment or moving into Pisces. Um, both of these energies, um, very, very dreamlike. Um, so pay attention to your dreams. It's your subconscious. Um, it, it is talking to you. If you journal these dreams that are coming um, over a period of time, you will start and see a pattern uh, that your subconscious is trying to um, enlighten you with. This is wisdom gained. This is enlightenment. But it's coming up from the deep, the dark, the subconscious, the underworld. <sighs> You're going to need inner courage and inner strength as you now cultivate these weeds and thistles that are making their presence known in your garden. Wow. Next you have major arcana. Sorry. Minor arcana. We are back to talking about you in the physical. This is the nine of cups. But it's coming the reverse. So in the upright, it would be your dreams coming true. It would be all of your uh, cups fulfilled, uh, your garden being um, abundant and um, blossoming, growing and blooming. However, it's come in the reverse. And I feel it's come in the reverse. Not that it's saying that you can't achieve your dreams coming true. But I do feel that there is... <sighs> You're going to be thinking things differently, I am hearing from spirit. What you once dreamed to be true for you, um, I really feel is going to be changed. This is more about dreams, friends. Um, again, I'm really drawn to the dream time. Um, and beliefs, what you believe to be true is what will be true for you. But again, really paying attention to your dream. Nine is the number of completion. For me, completion is also, um, it's graduation because we kind of really never get it done. Um, so this is the completion of a cycle, but it's coming with something that you are really ignorant to but I really don't mean that in a, in a bad way it wasn't the, something that you were ignoring purposefully it was hidden from you um, it's been a complete secret it's been a complete mystery um, you, you knew nothing about this but I really feel uh, and also we're having full moon coming up soon I, is that, I think it may be the 16th 17th I'm a little unsure there but again this full moon energy really strong <laughs> really really strong but I do feel that it is Although it almost feels that it's going to stop your dreams coming true, actually, I really feel it's going to give you great wisdom, great enlightenment and also um, graduation, the word I am being given. <sighs> OK. So next we have the Knight of Cups. Cups, of course, is the element of water, all of your emotions, all of your feelings. Um, and the Knight of Cups here depicted sitting in a beautiful pink lotus flower and um, playing a musical instrument that actually um, is a heart. Of course, we know hearts um, representing love and compassion. So this knight 
uh, nights are about movement, uh, forward movement and adventure. This night is coming towards you um, with love, care, kindness, compassion, understanding, um, affection um, and heart. This is a heart and the heartbeat, um, of course, um, um, is a life giving energy. So I feel this night is coming towards you because I feel once these okay once these deep dark underworld <sighs> secrets mysteries are revealed and brought to the surface i really do feel that we need to remain heart-centered from moment to moment remind ourselves coming from our heart center is it a loving thought? Is it a loving feeling? Therefore, will it be a loving action? Of course, also your heart. Um, it's where you get your will, your willpower, your courage and your strength. So I really feel this Knight of Cups um, has appeared, um, asking you to keep your heart chakra uh, open um, and only fill your heart with things that resonate with you uh, so I really feel some of these secrets mysteries coming up from the underworld um, you're not going to like um, it, it's going to it could well and truly turn your your world upside down it could absolutely turn you on your head but spirit is saying keep the willpower inner courage uh, inner strength Use your heart, your heart chakra, the true generator of your physical body and remain open hearted where you can tap into the inner courage, the inner strength, the willpower that you are going to need. I really feel once you hear um, what is to be revealed. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> okay, wow. Pay in attention, pay in attention to your dreams. It's important, really, really important. I am hearing from spirit. Okay, next we will have a card from Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. Oh, thank you. OK, as I'm as I'm shuffling, I'm just hearing. Um, things weren't as they seemed. We've been kind of going along thinking things were one way. However, they weren't. And this is the big mystery, the big secret. Um, that the big reveal I am hearing. Wow. <laughs> Whew, OK, let me just lower that camera. And your wisdom of the oracle card is, oh, <laughs> wow, coming underneath the moon, observer, wow, 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 this is what you are, this is what spirit is saying, when these, when these things come up, um, you'll just act, stand back and just observe um, as these, um, hmm, as these reveals come up um, and then tune into your intuition, what resonates, what doesn't resonate. OK, so 49. There we go. Uh, and numerology, um, four and nine, uh, 13, one and three, four. Structure, secure, security, stability, foundation in the physical. Um, Spirit asking me to do this, although this is um, supposed to be a wolf. We have a fox here, but they do look very, very similar. You do have the moon in both of these cards. Uh, I was uh, impulsed to put the egg of creation out and the fox here sitting on this egg. So I really feel from this information that you are going to be given um it's going to give you um, a new perspective a new way of looking at things i am hearing wow 
In essential meanings are perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance. Most people see the world through a personal lens. They closely identify with their feelings and experiences, so much so that they come to believe that these are the only reality. There are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture and environment that you are engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to give you the protection message as well, friends. Ever think sometimes your life options are suction cupped to your face and you can't see beyond yourself? There's a big world out there, a multitude of potential realities that you're unable to perceive at present, so you're a little stuck. It's time to get advice from someone you trust, someone who has better perspective on your circumstances. Other points of view are needed. Now, before you move forward, take heart. A beautiful vista is waiting for you to drink it in. You just need a little help widening your scope beyond your small self. Wow, wow, wow. OK, next we will have Oracle of Mystical Moments, also by Katarina Veltz-Stein. What is the message from Spirit? Whoa, OK. And your oracle of mystical moments is number 41, home in the sky. Wow. OK, four plus one becoming five, the number of conflict, crisis, chaos, but also transformation and change. Wanderlust, adventure safe haven. Up in the sky we see a floating neighbourhood of houses carried by balloons. Birds peek out through the windows. In this card there are elements of a journey symbolised by the sky, birds and balloons. But there are also houses which suggest home, security and stability. These birds have the best of both worlds. They can travel a big distance without losing their home. They are free to seek new experiences without worry. Home truly is where your heart is. So these birds have the best of both worlds, OK? So spirit really encouraging you. Do the grounding. Grow those roots so that you can say stay strong, stay firm, stay true, uh, true to your beliefs. Um, uh, OK. And home truly is where the heart is. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. OK, here we go. The Magic of Unicorns by Diana Cooper, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. Let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from spirit? Sorry, <laughs> I'll start again, friends. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit? Thank you, Ruby. OK, when we ask the right question, <laughs> the card appears. 
Okay, your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit is, oh wow, <laughs> oh just perfect Ruby. Okay, so we get another number uh, uh, number nine uh, and Ruby's actually saying uh, this is that she wants to turn this card the right way round for you. So um, one of the reasons you have a number nine, uh, of course, um, she's just saying it's, it is graduation and is agreeing with me. Uh, she says, open your heart, love yourself, dare to be vulnerable. Okay, okay. And Ruby says, there are 33 chambers in your heart chakra, all containing lessons of love. Your heart is open to the extent that you have mastered these. A warm and loving heart enfolds other people so that they feel safe and loved. And in return, they love you. As your heart opens and you feel free to share your feelings, you will also allow yourself to be vulnerable. So people immediately trust you and feel close to you. This card reminds you to be generous and giving of yourself. Your guidance is to breathe into your heart. Ask your unicorn to illuminate this centre with its horn of diamond light. When it pours pure love into all the chambers of this chakra and lights them up, this dissolves any old hurts or blocks that you may still have. Most important of all, appreciate yourself, be kind to yourself, feel your heart becoming warm and expansive. Your unicorn is reminding you that when you love and value yourself, any lower emotions dissolve in the glow of your inner worth. Then you become caring and compassionate towards humans and animals. You radiate unconditional love and acceptance towards all sentient beings and they respond with kindness. You see the loving essence of others and your path becomes happier. Opening your heart is the greatest possible way to light up your journey, for an open heart attracts help, kindness, true friendships and all the support you need from the human, animal and angelic worlds. Ruby says to open your heart, close your eyes, Focus on your heart chakra. Rub your chest and sense it becoming warm. Visualise the spiral of 33 chambers. Ask your unicorn to illuminate them all. See the light spreading until your entire heart chakra is ablaze. Breathe into the experience. Then thank your unicorn. Your affirmation is... My unicorn lights up my heart. My unicorn lights up my heart. My unicorn lights up my heart. And so it is. Okay, we are really being blessed with a great show of trinkets at the moment. Okay, they are all silver, and which is the colour of the sacred divine feminine. So stepping into our uh, feminine. Yesterday it was all masculine energy. Today it is feminine energy. Yesterday was totally about um, polarity. Um, each card uh, about polarity. Uh, today we're being asked to step more into the feminine energy. OK, so we have the first of two angels. So we have this angel. And we have this little angel that says angels are watching over me. Angels, um, protection, uh, faith, hope, uh, charity, love, uh, purity, um, courage, strength and guidance. They both want to go on the moon card. Um, as these secrets, as these things come up from the underworld um, that are being revealed, um, just know that angels are watching over you and protecting you. OK, next we have a dragonfly. We don't very often get this dragonfly. Dragonflies, um, illusions, but also opportunities and new beginnings. 
and once again on the nine of cups in reverse actually saying that this nine of cups in reverse and it's illusionary um it's just something that you and the way you are observing it's your perspective i am hearing okay and next we have two <laughs> two keys and i will just try and hold them in i'll try and do it like that maybe there we go. <laughs> of course, we know keys uh, can lock and also can unlock. Um, and one wants to go on the, well, I'm not surprised, the Knight of Cups and the other going on Ruby's card, the Open Your Heart card. Um, unlocking, unlocking your hearts, unlocking the, the, the door to the chamber that holds your heart. Um, and of course, when we unlock something, um, we are enlightened we can open the door and we see something that we didn't see before so i'm feeling that these two keys we've been given this is like double wisdom double knowledge double enlightenment it's like powering up spirit is saying it is powering up okay it might not be pleasant all of this coming up from the deep from the depths um maybe a little unpleasant i am hearing uh but you are being protected through this time stepping into your heart chakra where all of your inner courage and inner strength resides ruby saying keeping your heart open your heart is where your home is wow and again i really feel two keys it's like <sighs> double graduation <laughs> double graduation and with the balloons and their homes in the sky wow 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 divinely guided my wonderful friends follow your heart you are being divinely guided wow 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 well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so my wonderful friends may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.